I can almost feel all the electric vehicle owners getting ready to lash out in the comments about the idea that electric vehicles pollute 1,850 times more than gasoline powered cars. Like, how can that even be possible? Let me explain today as we talk tires. So don't shoot the messenger, but this is certainly something that's food for thought, something we need to look into. So a research firm based in the UK, they're called Emissions Analytics, published research in 2020 where they determined that tire particulate wear emissions were 1,000 times worse than exhaust emissions. Now, what does that mean? Well, in other words, as we all drive around, the microscopic particles that come off our tires as the tread wears down is creating pollution that's 1,000 times worse than what's coming out of the tailpipes of a typical gasoline-powered vehicle. Now, when they published this research, so many people got upset, so many people got mad, especially electric vehicle owners. I'll explain why in just a moment. But they got so upset that, that they, the researchers went back to, to the drawing board, so to speak. They looked at their research again, they crunched all the numbers, did more research, and they found out that they were wrong. The pollutants our tires generate are not 1,000 times worse. No, no, they're 1,850 times worse. Now, why are electric vehicle owners upset the most? Because according to the research, their tires seem to be wearing out faster than the tires on traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. Now, if you think that's nuts, I hear you, but let me explain. So the research published by Emissions Analytics, and, I, and I'll leave the links down below so you can check out their report yourself. The research explains that the newest internal combustion engine vehicles are achieving pollutant emission levels so low so low that they are hard to measure. In other words, pollutant levels are so low on new vehicles that the report says that the biggest source of pollutant emissions from new vehicles now comes from non-exhaust sources, especially brake and tire wear. I think many of the folks watching this channel are familiar with brake dust. That brake dust also makes it into the air that we breathe, along with the, let's call it, tire dust that comes off our tires as they wear out as well. So getting back to the electric vehicles, the report adds the following observation. It says, tires are likely to be a large and growing source of pollutants as consumers switch to, note this, bigger and heavier cars. And that's the part EV owners are really upset about. Now, electric vehicles aren't necessarily bigger, but they are heavier. And that's because of the massive batteries they have to lug around. And that's why we're seeing that their tires are wearing out faster. And if they're wearing out faster, they're also creating more, like we said, tire dust, right? That kind of pollutant, which in turn pollutes the environment, pollutes the air, gets into our, our, our water systems. Now, the fact that electric vehicles are heavier than their non-electric counterparts, well, that's a well-known fact. Everybody knows that. But what about the idea that electric vehicles go through tires faster than their non-electric counterparts? I mean, is that a fact? Well, if you own an EV, you probably know that it already is, right? And I've spoken to a number of, of, of industry experts, including tire manufacturers, and they all agree that this is, this is a real problem. Hyundai, for example, says that the, uh, the tires of electric vehicles wear 20% faster than those of internal combustion engines. And in an article entitled EV Tires, Everything You Need to Know, Kelly Blue Book explained that tires on EVs wear out faster than the tires on a comparable gas car because electric vehicles are so much heavier than those with an internal combustion engine. And in another article, Kelly Blue Book points out that electric car tires wear 20% faster than those of gas-powered vehicles. And on their website, uh, tire manufacturer Continental Tire agrees. It says that tires for electric vehicles carry a heavier load 
and have to withstand high instant torque, leading to what? Leading to higher tire wear. And we could go on and on and on. There's, there's so much proof that this is happening, but I, I think we all get the point. Electric vehicles go through tires faster than their non-electric counterparts. Now these sources, they are kind of pointing to the 20% mark, right? They're wearing out 20% faster, but I've read elsewhere that it could be as high as 50%. And a lot depends on the vehicle as well as how you drive it. I mean, if you have a, a heavy foot and electric vehicles are fun to drive, I mean, the more aggressive you are, the faster the tires will wear out. And like I said, if you're an EV owner, you probably have already seen that, you've already experienced that yourself. So what's the solution? Well, if you drive an EV, you may have noticed that tire companies are trying to sell you EV-specific tires for your vehicle. So they're trying to rip you off or they're just trying to market something new. Well, they're trying to fix a problem. And one of the problems they're trying to fix with these tires is the one we've been talking about. So they're working on engineering tires that deliver everything that you, the electric vehicle owner, wants. You want quiet tires, right? That, uh, uh, that don't make noise because you're in, you don't have an engine that makes noise. You want tires with low rolling resistance so that you can go as far as possible on a full charge. That's great. They're trying to deliver that while also making these tires tough enough to handle the extra weight of your vehicle as well as the massive amounts of torque that perhaps your vehicle produces. Now the bottom line EVs may produce zero emissions at the tailpipe but they can more than make up for it if they're going through tires faster than their gas-powered counterparts. Equipped with engines that, as the study says, are achieving pollutant emission levels so low that they are hard to measure. Now, we're not trying to beat up on EV owners. That's not the point here. This is a problem that the industry is trying to address. And don't hate the messenger. Like I said, read the study yourself. It's linked below. Now, one of the companies that's engineering tires for EVs is Bridgestone. Now, if you'd like to learn more about their newest tire, the Toranza EV, which is made in part from old plastic bottles and shopping bags, which is pretty cool, check out the video over here. And as always, thanks for watching.